most up and coming artists who talk and indeed dream about breaking into the music business seem to lose sight of one quite important part of this equation. And that's the business part. An awful lot of new and aspiring artists seem to think that all they have to do is to record a track on the mate Gerard's home studio, chuck a cheap music video of them rapping in a supermarket car park up onto YouTube, and then sit back and wait for the lorry loads of money to arrive at their house the very next day. My cat did exactly the same thing and has had very little success. After tasting the bitter pill of disappointment, it went out for a sleep in the garden to contemplate exactly how this seemingly brilliant business model might be somehow flawed. The best way, in fact, I believe the only way to approach the music business is in the same way as you'd approach any other business. And that means with at least a vague grasp on reality. To imagine that your business was not music, but biscuits. Your dream was to have your own biscuit empire and your very own sprawling biscuit factory. How would you go about this? What would your first step be? Well, for a start, it would help if you knew something about making biscuits. If you do indeed have a bit of a flair for making biscuits, you'd have to hone your biscuit making skills, bake batch after batch, throwing countless burn or doughy substandard biscuits away until eventually you had perfected your biscuit baking skills to the point where friends would drop round to your house in the hope of being offered one of your biscuit masterpieces to savour with their cup of tea. But what next? So you can bake the best biscuits in a three mile radius but there are no biscuit barons knocking at your door, offering you wads of cash for your quite nice biscuit recipe. To monetize your biscuit baking skills, you'd have to know something about the biscuit industry, and you'd have to look at what other biscuit-based products are on the market, and then take a very long hard look at your biscuits and how they compare to the vast competition, often made by long-established and well-funded biscuit professionals. So already, your biscuit empire is at least three steps ahead of the average music biz wannabe's business model. And that's before we even think about marketing of your biscuits or the small matter of investment to build your biscuit factory. Be it chocolate digestives or a cutting edge multi-million selling drill album, getting your product right for market is often a long and expensive process and can often involve a lot of soul searching and quite a few harsh realities. Usually regarding whether you have what it takes to become a megastar or whether you'd be best sticking to landscape gardening or shelf stacking. I often get clients for music videos who are actually suffering from clinical levels of delusion. The kind of delusion that you might see at your local karaoke night down your local pub. The main difference is that Sharon, who is belting out the most earnest and tuneless rendition of I Will Always Love You, has not paid hundreds, if not thousands of pounds for the privilege of caterwauling to a totally unappreciative audience. presume that you are indeed blessed with some God-given talent and you have not only honed down your musical skills but also written recorded something that people would actually want to listen to. You've made a half-decent video and put it on YouTube. Surely now you can sit back and wait for the truckloads of money to arrive at your house? Well, not quite. The Biscuit World equivalent would be that you have made quite a yummy biscuit, but your global marketing strategy is to have a small plate of your biscuits being given away for free at the local village fete. One track alone 
the same as one biscuit alone is never going to set the world on fire. You need to get prolific. You need to write and record shed loads of tunes. Unless that is, you have a rich daddy. In which case, you need to get him to give me a call. Hello, Brown the Corner Films. Hello? Hello, mate. Do you make music videos? Yes, we do make music videos. How can I help you? Well, it's right. My daughter, she wants to make a music video. Right. But what it is that, right, it has to be a success. I see. She needs chart success with it. Oh, right. Okay. How much would it be for a three minute, 24 second video? Well, we don't actually charge by the minute for a video. I mean, it, 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 oh. it depends exactly what you want to put in the video. Right. I mean, a, a, a three minute, 24 video of a plank of wood would work out fairly cheap. But if you wanted 3 minutes 24 of a troop of 29 blonde dancing midgets hang gliding from the Eiffel Tower, no. or 12 fire-eating monkeys on jet skis in Barbados, then obviously that's going to work out slightly more expensive. No, we don't want dancing midgets, but we want it to be all over MTV. We want nothing but the best. So I guess it's time to open the reality cupboard and explain its contents to Daddy. What is no object? The reality cupboard is quickly slammed shut again. Oh right, I see. So, so when you say that money's no object, do you actually have a specific budget in mind for the video? Whatever it takes. I want it doing properly. It has to be a success though. I suddenly seem to find myself inadvertently browsing XJS Jaguars for sale on eBay. Sorry? What? Oh, sorry, nothing. Um... When you say whatever it takes, yes. I would still need an idea of your budget. Even big budget, multi-million pound movies have a specific budget allocated. I mean, are we talking 10 grand, 20 grand, 50 grand? I was thinking more like, maybe going up to a thousand pounds. Oh, right. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, I mean that does limit your options on what we can do for you. But I mean, we could still produce a half decent video for a grand. What kind of thing are you looking for? Well, I'm not really sure. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Well, maybe you could send me the track. The track. Yes. The, the track, the track that your daughter wants a music video producing for. I mean, it would help me come up with the right look and feel to the video. It would, would also give me an idea of any narrative that needs constructing. She hasn't recorded the track yet. Right. Do, do you have any idea when this might be happening? Just as soon as she writes it. What? She, so she's not actually written the track yet? No. Okay. So we're entering the realms of madness now, but I'm very focused on the fact that this is potentially a grand's worth of madness. So when do you want to start the video? She's ready to start any time. I bet she is. Do you have people who could help her with her track? When you mean like a music producer to record her track? Yes, a music producer. Do, do you have one? Well, it just so happens that we have access to a number of very talented music producers. Via the phone book. It, it could definitely help record and produce a great track for your daughter. I'm presuming that the recording and production won't be coming out of the video budget. Oh, yes. It's the ground for everything. Even my cat looks disgusted. That doesn't really leave a great deal for the video, though, does it? The thing is, right, th this is just the beginning. Once she's done this video, we're going to be coming back time after time for more videos, and they're only going to get bigger and better. But she wants you to get success, right? Well, yeah. It's signed up by a record company. Okay. Starts World Tours. Yep. So, so how soon does she want to start recording the uh, sugar-coated carrot? I mean, sorry, I mean track. Just as soon as she's written some lyrics. The cat can listen to no more. So, so she hasn't actually written any lyrics yet? Is that something that you could help her with? Well, I suppose so. I mean, what would the song be about? Well, I don't think she knows. I can feel the door on the reality cupboard slowly starting to open itself. Well, that, that's a tricky one. You see, most writers write because they've got either something they want to say 
or a story that they want to tell. What story do you think she should tell? Well, it's not really for me to say. I, I mean, it could be a life experience, or it, or it could be something interesting that's happened to your daughter. The problem is that she wants to do more tracks, and if you put all her life experiences into this one song, I mean, what will she have to write about? Even a fucking mayfly couldn't put its entire life experience into one three-minute track. Has she ever tried writing a song before? TikTok videos, like dance routines and stuff like that, same thing. Which I guess makes this the perfect time for you to be throwing a grand at her first music video. But, to my absolute amazement, Daddy sent me the thousand pounds up front for the video the very next day. I hired a cheap producer for a couple of hundred bucks, and apparently, the daughter made several disastrous attempts at recording something, and to my absolute delight, I never heard from either her or Daddy again. Apparently, she went into the biscuit business and is now doing rather well. Yeah, you